Thank you. I just took a COVID test. Tuesday, I am filming a student short film. And unfortunately, the only place that had testing near me was like 10 plus miles away. So it took me like 25 minutes to drive here. And I was like, maybe I can just do something while I'm here, but I really don't have anything to do here. So I'm just gonna go home. Oh my God, my face looks crazy. I used self tanner and I'm not very experienced at it. In real life, like it doesn't look so bad. Why does it look terrible on camera? Good morning. I hope that I don't step on poop while trying to vlog, but I'm on my way to film. I got my results and I tested negative, so now I'm going to check in. The COVID survey, you know, all of the standard stuff. And uh, I'm about to go on set. I got some decaf. Well, it's a wrap, we're all done, and um, I'm in San Francisco, so I'm just gonna take a little walk before I go home. It was really chill, everybody was nice. We were of course running behind, because you always are running behind and things like this, but there was another class right after, so we really had to like hurry up and get out of there. Just got released from set. It was a very smooth, easy, like everything went really well. We got good shots and we went on and the team is amazing. I keep like meeting nicer and nicer production companies and like, but even like friendlier and more fun people. But this specific group of people, like, I feel like the leader is just so sweet. Just such a good person that everything just went so smoothly and everybody he has chosen to be a part of this team it works very efficiently and very well. Um, so there's, I'm one of the, the talent and there's one more that says all of the lines in English. Um, and I mean, we were just able to like go through the takes pretty quickly. So we got released, it's 4.30 right now. Maybe I'll meet, beat traffic a little bit because on the way here, there was a little bit of traffic. I'm more familiar with tomorrow's lines because I got like half of the script for the audition and I was able to memorize, be close to memorizing that. And then the other page, because there was two different pages, the other page is the one that we did today. So I think tomorrow I'll be a little bit more comfortable, but I need to start driving so that I don't catch all the traffic. Wow, super early day. It's 3.08 and I got released like 15 minutes ago. This was such a great team again and such a great shoot. Um, I'm excited to hopefully work with them again. It was really fun and really easy. So now I'm gonna go home and um, self-submit to a bunch of work, maybe film some auditions if I get them, but I will very likely have to um, change my makeup because I have like layers I don't know it looks pretty good on camera um, but I just feel like I have so much makeup on like layers and layers I'm headed to the train station because last night again the Academy of Art when they hire actors for the directing classes so that students can learn how to work with professional actors so um, I was like okay you know sometimes acting is a trip one day you'll go from making thousands of dollars a day and then the next day literally the next day you'll go to just make like less than a hundred dollars for the day <laughs> anyway i need to go catch the train <laughs> I forgot to mention, they did give me a script, but it's the pilot for White Lotus, which is a show that I have heard about. I don't know if I've watched. 
Um, and it is the whole pilot, so I tried to read all of it and I ran out of time this morning before I had to come. So I haven't read it, but they're going to assign us a scene and I believe we're gonna be working on the same scene this week and next week, not sure. Um, so obviously I don't have it memorized, but I have my laptop with the entire script. So I'm gonna head in there now. Okay, um, oh, I don't think I filmed anything in there, but um, so yes, this is a directing class and we got the script of White Lotus, the pilot script, it's so loud out here. And then the students got to choose what actors they got, wanted to work with and I was paired up with Sam, an actress, that's a student here I believe. Uh, yeah, three different directors selected us, so we worked on three different scenes. But right now I actually have a meeting with Javi because um, we're doing a short film together soon. I'm really excited about it. So we are going to touch base now via Zoom and uh, talk about it. Good morning. I just got done going to the gym and showering and um, then I did a voiceover because I had a voiceover due today by 1 p.m. So I just sent it over through my agency and um, I really need to get ready because I have a dress to pick up and I wanted to tell you guys that I was DM'd by a startup, a, a tech company, um, that they want me to do user-generated content for them and it sounded like they wanted to be ongoing and I didn't really know what to quote them. Like I had an idea of what to quote them, but I went ahead and just forwarded information to my agency, the one in San Francisco, so they can help me out with that. So they are currently negotiating that. I'm really grateful. The price that my agent said was very similar to the price that I was thinking. So I'm like, okay, I do know how to price my things. Um, but yeah, let me get ready because I need to eat something. I'm so hungry and then I'm going to go pick up the dress, but I'm a little nervous about it. You'll see why in a second. Okay, I'm here to pick up my dress at David's Bridal. I might maybe have ordered a dress that is not my size. Rodriguez and the first name is Belgica. I got the dress and they asked me if I wanted to try it before leaving. Absolutely not because I ordered a size too small. I don't recommend this. I don't think this is healthy. This is a personal decision. Okay, I, I need to go home and try it on. It fits me. The zipper just needs to be hooked, but <laughs> I really thought I wasn't gonna be able to zip it and then it was gonna take time for me to be able to fit in it. <laughs> oh my God, it fits me. What the hell? This dress fits me like a glove. <laughs> like a Like a tight glove, but like a glove. <laughs> This dress is a sign that I should not buy clothes smaller just to like be healthier and lose weight. This dress is like, oh yeah, you thought you were going to use a dress as influence to be healthy and lose weight? No, you got to find it in yourself. Thank you. <laughs> I was truly expecting to try on this dress a bunch of times until August, until it's finally time to the wedding and like slowly be able to zip more and more of the dress, but apparently not i think i think it's because my rib cage is pretty small like my rib cage is 34 inches and like the most of my volume is in my hips like my bottom half so i think that's why it fits me because this dress like in the bottom half it's more flowy you know but here it's structured <sighs> anyway i gotta go 